to see a performance art was not with classical music, but uh, this was back in the 70s up in Utah. I think it was in Salt Lake City when I saw this. And by happenstance, we walked in on uh, uh, a group that were organizing the show, and it was with the university. Group. And what we kind of got our first taste of was uh, three young artists coming on stage. And what they were doing was a, a collection of uh, uh, rock and roll songs back in the 70s. And what they were doing was basically uh, doing portraits of uh, some of the rock stars, like Elton John, I think it was one, uh, uh, Elvis Presley. There was like about maybe seven of them that uh, they were doing. And they were rotating them. They were finishing these things in like in about 15, 20 minutes. So it was one of the most... Uh, you know, experiential, uh, I guess, spiritual event for me because at the time, you know, I was young, I was in college, and, and uh, it was really kind of a unique thing to witness. As we go along, I might just go ahead and point to somebody and maybe they can come up, you know, because I like to, you know, for uh, the audience to come over and actually you know, experience something that's, uh, you know, very this setting, it's, it's just, you know, just right. I mean, we got two hours to do this. So I'm kind of like, you know, looking, and uh, in between there, if I need a breather, I'll just point to somebody, and you got 10 to 15 seconds to do something. We'll see how I'm, an idea, because, you know, we're, we're so kind of removed from the mainstream culture. If you go down to maybe Scottsdale or maybe sometimes in Albuquerque, you see a lot of events, uh, civic events that you see, a lot of uh, concerts, uh, you know, where they, you bring in the symphony and, you know, they do a lot of stuff. And out here, you know, we're so kind of, kind of out of the way and, you know, I kind of wanted to go back and uh, try to get, uh, tie something that I feel it, that's very important for our area, which is the arts, and try to t uh, tie them uh, with the classical. And you know, the reason why I kind of was uh, uh, looking at Mozart, you know, because when I was in college, I had a, um, a student, a grad student that I was sharing a studio with, and I don't know what his problem was, but every time you know I came in, he had all sorts of classical music going, and it was really hard to work with this person. But after a while, he kind of got to grow on me and I started appreciating the music and after a while uh, I, you know I got to the point where I was almost painting like this guy <laughs> so I had to ask my professor if I could you know get my own studio so he got me away from that and I ended up uh, working on my uh, thesis that we got Through the Southwest Indian Foundation we, we do uh, sponsor a scholarship program where we uh, invite uh, the area school to come and enter uh, their art pieces through the school. If you've got children uh, who are at least uh, school age, uh, please uh, invite them to come uh, or have their schools uh, come and participate in our art show. And we do have, uh, like I said, 25,000 of you. One other thing I wanted to add was that I'd like to see other artists, you know, maybe come and do that. Do this. I mean, you got uh, Gallup is just rich in art. We got the Hispanics, and we got you know, a lot of very well recognized uh, individuals. And maybe one of these days uh, you can have what you call an art happening, which is uh, put a canvas up and just invite everybody and just paint whatever comes along. You know, just provide the paint and brush. You see what happens, you know, kids, kids are great at it. You know, um, like I was mentioning, I wanted to tie uh, something in with the, the area that we live in. Um, with uh, <clears throat> how much, you know, there is an appreciation for the arts. And, you know, because I, I, I have this uh, real strong uh, connection with uh, the performing arts and what I'm a real strong advocates, uh, advocate of uh, the performing arts as well. But uh, unfortunately, you know, my area is in the visual arts. <laughs> but, you know, it, 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 it seems like, you know, when I'm working, and I don't normally listen to a lot of uh, classicals, because for where I live at, 
The only one that we can get is like in a ego. Most often, believe it or not, you know, I, I listen to a lot of the oldies, and, and one of my favorite uh, group of all time are the Beatles. You know, shirt and teeth. <laughs> but um, how this evolved was because I, I had this real strong uh, feeling about doing something uh, that would connect with the performing arts. And, you know, it would be. Um, interesting just to kind of you know put pain and uh, try to make sense of uh, something and then uh, then try to justify it later and I thought in the area that we live in we really need to uh, open up our minds uh, expand beyond what we uh, are capable of and a lot of times um, if you ever seen the Sistine Chapel uh, a lot of people look at the Sistine Chapel as one of the greatest uh, paintings on the uh, on the ceiling, but when you really analyze and look at it, it's just a billboard. Basically, nothing different than what you see on I-40. But back when it was done, a lot of the people that lived in the area uh, where the church is, uh, the Sistine Chapel, you know, there were a lot of illiterate people, and only uh, well-read people were was in the clergy. So. What do you do to bring in the masses? You do it through the arts. You create icons, you create um, whatever visual images that you think can stir the masses. And that was kind of what my thinking was when I I was thinking, you know, it's really interesting just to do something that's uh, abstract or expression or expressionistic, but to really tie in something that we have here uh, into something that people can relate to, you know, visually. And the way, the only way I could think of was uh, do it in the manner that, uh, which is taking the icon of uh, Mozart and try to do something with it, so that an average person just walking down the street looking at it, you know, can say, okay, a conductor or a musician or something, somebody that is uh, knowledgeable in the arts. And if, you, if they don't even know anything about classical music, they still can somehow appreciate the fact that there is a painting that depicts something in that area. And if not the music, maybe the appreciation of the visual of the art. So that was kind of my thinking when I did this.